Morning everybody, day 17. We're still out here. Uh, we're packing up now, going into the NOC today. Town day! Jolene's over here, she's coming Morning. to say something. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to tell people, we've had a lot of people trying to reach out to us, but we don't know, can't figure out the, what is happening back here? We can't figure out like the YouTube messaging thing. So uh, if you want to get a hold of us, um more so than comments we do have an email down in our description and instagram where you could private message us using the same name as our youtube so it's gonna give you a quick little tour right so it's just a single level one i think the last one we showed you was a double level it's probably room for like six or seven people in there and it's got this nice little table under the awning these up here, these little twigs with the containers on them are to hang your bags at night so the mice don't get into them. The containers uh, prevent the mice from crawling down the string onto your bag. We haven't really had any issues with mice, which is nice. Oh, look at that. So just a wood floor. Usually we put our footprint down and then our pads and sleeping bags. All right, guys, so we just started going, but I wanted to show you this, so we're going down here we're gonna go back up and then oh no it's out of focusing and then just oh wait one more and then it drops down you can't see into the noc and in six miles we will be at the noc for the night We're pretty much walking over these ridges, walking down these ridges, I guess. So right here's not as great of views as there was up there, but it was a little too sketch for me to record and come down on the ice. So I'm gonna try here, but I'll probably put it away in a minute. So there's a blaze, so I'm going down there. So that's pretty. It's pretty accurate, I think. That's straight ahead, and then there's the blaze, and yeah. you know the blaze is like five or yeah, six feet off the ground, so I've never had, like, that's where I'm headed. I'm gonna put this away so I can get down back, so I can get down this big huge stuff. rock. So, like so that's weird, quite a drop. So anyway, yeah, going down there, up these here, and dropping down. Um, you guys can't see, but right over there into the what we well, believe is the NOC. I was like, so. I had to go to the bathroom and there was like a bathroom. Well, there was a ray of sunshine this morning. So I put my sunglasses on and then the sunshine went away. It hasn't come back. So now I just look like a doofus with sunglasses and no sun. It's snowing again. Made it, the NOC. When you order a side of fries and they bring you the hiker hunger yeah. basket. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> Obviously I'm not quite to the hiker hunger stage yet. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan, I want you to know that even though I'm stuffed from my french fries and everything else I ate, I had enough room for ice cream because it's melting and filling in all of my cracks in my belly. Mmm. There's the driveway. That shack there, they're getting ready to tear down to put something new in. Right here you've got the superhero house. The school bus, the camper van. This is the chicken coop, so this is just bunk beds. That's usually where a lot of the hikers sleep when it's warmer out. Over this way, you've got the lodge. Boom, lodge. There's uh, Hulu, Netflix, 
big TV in there, nice wood or nice uh, gas fireplace, hammocks up on the porch, games up on the porch, all kinds of cool stuff. And then as you come down here, all the tiny houses they have. We're staying in the New Orleans one, which we'll come to. This one is the fisherman's cabin. So they're all, all of them are a little themed. These are anywhere from 100 to 125. And uh, depending on which one you get, they sleep between two to six people, I believe. Maybe two to four, I can't remember. This one is the Red Wolf Inn. So a little dog themed kind of one. Here's ours right here. New Orleans, so we'll give you a tour of the inside of that one a little later. This one is the farmhouse. Uh, Michaela, one of the owners, was telling us that when they bought this, it was somebody had bought it to turn it into a farm, basically, a little farmland, and uh, basically just couldn't afford it, so they had to sell it. This is boho, she said, so little yurt style uh, living quarters. And then these two down here, one of them is Harry Potter and I don't remember what the other one is, but these are just kind of two little tart kind of houses. They got a nice little uh, picnic area down here, some tent platforms over here on the right. And way up there is a nice little uh, raised platform area. She was saying, when it's a little warmer out, they usually have a canvas over that and you can do yoga or whatever up there. So really nice place. The prices are pretty affordable. So for us, it was $100 for our room. It sleeps two. You could probably fit a third. Not really sure if it's allowed, but there's definitely room for a third person. There's a little couch bed kind of thing in here. So this is the inside of our New Orleans themed tiny house. So you got all the jazz instruments, you got the table, the beds, purple and yellow everywhere. They have these really cool spoon curtain holders. So um, everything here is just like a little trombone case in the corner. And like I said, this one, so you've got like a little couch bed kind of thing here. And then the actual bed here. There's no shower in here. The shower I was showing you is a public shower, but the, you do have your own little bathroom and uh, this was all for a hundred bucks. So, you know, being a couple, it's almost cheaper just to spend the 50 bucks each to stay here versus paying 25 at NOC plus 10 for laundry plus this and that. The laundry here was $10, but she basically said we could do as many loads as we needed, which we only needed one load anyway. But really, really nice, really accommodating. This is the men's bathroom at Gorgeous Stays. You've got kind of little changing areas over here, a little waiting room. And then these are the actual bathrooms back here. These are the showers, sorry. Oh no, bathrooms. And then showers are down here. Really, really nice, really clean in here. Everything's like super nice, the wood tables and everything, wood bowls over there for the sink, and great service. Yeah. Like sitting area, whatever, prepping area, is easily the best shower I just took of my life. Three changing rooms. And then we're doing our laundry in here. And then, the bathroom, there's two toilets, two toilets, and two showers, and this was heavenly. I think I turned it on the hottest it would go. Shampoo, conditioner, soap. This closes off so you can hang your stuff. Not a single thing of my stuff got wet. That's all my stuff there that I'm cleaning up, but anyway, so girls, they got things that you're gonna need in here for you. Things you may need. Anyway, so shower, shower in both. It's absolutely like the cutest shower. Not that I need my shower to be cute, but seriously consider staying here. It's not that far from the NOC. They pick you up, drop you off, all included in your like stay. So 
definitely, definitely consider this place over the NOC bunkhouse or cabins or whatever because our friends that are there are making it sound like it's not the best place to be.